Hi guys! Right, we're going to make some man bombs today. For our men out there. Not that I have men out there. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and make okay. some turquoise out of the super uh, uh, out of the uh, easy colours. So I'm going to try and make a turquoise and a blue, and then I'm going to use yellow embeds. I've got all my ingredients, dry ingredients, mixed okay. here together. This is my fragrance oil, and it's got in it some tapioca starch and some um, dendritic salt. It's um. I think this is going to be just lovely. What is it called? Bay rum. I'm doing today. Hence, I'm going for the turquoise, the blue, and the yellow embeds to emulate the beach somewhat. If it works for you. This fragrance is love. Well, we'll go in like this. Put it in. Look at that. stuff in there. I think I should probably just go ahead and use all the rest of the yellow. Just because it is super big. I don't want any in a trouble. And I've got um, a small amount of SLSA in here. I love this color palette. Got some really, really <clears throat> bubbles to help the colors, fast. well to help the oils emulsify somewhat. I think I'll be able to just for a few minutes. I'm going to add a little bit more polysorbate. Just to make sure. Where I have a from. Back to you Okay, I'm going to snap this down. Yeah, I'm going to snap this down and then I'll put the rest of the white on the top. And then those are the rest of the colors on top of that white. Right? To do a wee bit of salt. Right, some eight o'clock kernel oil. Ooh, that's heavy. <laughs> uh, I think we do want to do white. Oops, oh my god, I would be spilling it straight away. That white dip. Check out Snob Love, she's great. Yeah, that's what I've been using to get. I'm getting down. Okay, over here, we have some blue. I've stopped writing my notes down on the kick out and then spilled oil on them. And then over here, we have some like a real thing for me. Sort of a turquoise color. She has helped me out straight away. Her fragrance oils that I bought because I just didn't want to do a triple spray. I don't know I make the turquoise, yeah, I'm going with a tiny little crazy. bit of My blue, a tiny little bit of green. What colors I, use in this right, I mean, really but quite I a small like amount. That green is really working for me. These and are easy colors, so they color the water as well. Yay for them. 
<laughs> and I'm going to add a touch of yellow just to try and bring that up a tone. I'm going to be using yellow in bed. Very beginning of fall where everything smells crisp and kind of burnt, like burnt leaves or something, and like that fresh renew of spring. Those are the two most favorite smells for those seasons. Okay, awesome. Subscribe to my other channel, Color. Biographics. We actually did one of those all about Pablo Escobar. Work. We're going to do his life in depth in a little more detail. So go to. Yeah. See if I can hold something first, shall we? Use your nose. I mean, you know, if, if I'm mixing this later and I find okay to okay, go with a smell nice deep blue. Yeah. <clears throat> this is going to be a lot of water. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be full tub. Based on your seat, do a full tub for that. Alright, so we're going to have a glass because I do not want any blue on anything. And I also don't want anything else on anything. My hair is up. And we'll go with that nice round ghetto. I don't know how many. I remember that you use the same. You're trying to make a batch of something. And you want it to be the same color all the time. Make sure you use the same measurements. There it is. Okay. I'm going to bring these together and see how it goes. But I ended up using three of them. Three per batch. But this is that blue from Serafina. I find it's not as dark as the other lakes. So this is a lake. I'm just going to actually do them the same. So that's one. Ta -da. Wow, I'm these again. I think that's quite nice. See if I can get it over here. And I'll have bubble wrap okay. so to soften the blow, and it works. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been having quite a lot of trouble with bath bombs lately. I'll be able to demo them once they're dried. Seal that in because it's. I'm not convinced it will come out. Anyway, that's what I do like about these ones because it is handy if they don't work quite. Here's 
my end mat, okay? Come on, clear up. So, I take one in the middle. Right there. She hasn't got a lot of money. So. She doesn't like to make money, even though she's the most out of all the bath bomb makers, she gives out the most support and help for new bath bomb makers. Do you know what I mean? These are holding together lovely. I'm wondering like have I done something wrong? Because <laughs> I'm getting them all good. Oh no, that one broke just as I said it. <laughs> Thought about right in it.
bless her, I love her. I haven't had a batch of bath bombs go so well in ages. Oh, that's the last of that's joining guys. Much love, breathe easy folks. I'll see you again soon.